I'm here at PitCon 2014. I'm on the uh, Joel booth and I'm here to meet Vern Robertson. Hi there, Vern. Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, well, it was really nice to meet you. And it's, uh, well, really interesting to hear, obviously, about the product you're showcasing here. I mean, it's uh, straight away I can see stood here that it's a bit of a departure from the usual sort of Joel design. I wonder if you tell us sort of, uh, the reasons behind this, really. Yeah, this, this is the IT300, and what the IT stands for is in touch. And part of that is the user interface, but it is a radical new design. It's a new look, a new style, a new design for both the mechanics and the aesthetics. Uh, we went to an outside design house that designs for Ferrari, for example, one wow, of their okay. clients, and they do a lot of consumer products. So this was a, 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 an attempt to get this to look outside the box when it comes to scientific equipment. It might be the catch to get somebody to just say, hmm, it looks kind of interesting. Yeah. And then they can show, or we can show, all of the features and the high performance of the microscope. The real key to it is not only the aesthetic design, but the performance of it. It, it really lets new users, as well as experienced users, feel very comfortable. It okay runs like a smartphone, like a tablet, uh, like the typical devices that people are using in their everyday life. So it makes a highly sophisticated piece of scientific equipment seem a little less intimidated. People really aren't microscopists anymore. Yep. They're using these tools to answer salient questions about their product, failures, R&D, field customer questions, and they're using these just like tools in a toolbox, so they have to be accessible. Okay. And that leads us sort of into what the interface can do, and let's take a look at, at yeah, that yeah, over there. Yeah, please lead me through that. So can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the software you've got here, Vern? Yeah, the, the, the software is really the interfaces, the experience that the user has when they sit at this microscope. And again, mm. as I mentioned, it's to make this tool accessible to both the expert and the novice user. Okay. People look at images, or they start off with a sample, and they want to look at it in real time, real space. So what we provide is a color image for a camera that's built into the microscope. It's very easy to navigate off something that we would see with our naked eye. So put the mic sample in the microscope, drive to that location, visually you just point and shoot on the screen. Once we have an image, it really is a tablet. I can take and move the image simply by dragging and dropping. Okay. I can change the mag simply by pinching like you would on an average iPhone. Yep or tablet. It has the typical gravity function that normal things would have. For us old guys, we still provide hardware knobs with digitally encoded feedback. So if you prefer to run it under those kinds of conditions, that doesn't hamper the interface. The interface doesn't hamper that. They work in synergy. Excellent. So all of the buttons are designed not just to run under Windows 7 as a touchscreen Windows product. The interface was designed as a touchscreen interface. So the the icons are large. You have the ability, for example, to, if you want to run automatic functions, those auto functions are quite large. So you can just run them. They run very rapidly with today's uh, computer control power. So that's, that's really the gist of what we do, is we run an interface where the response time is really quite quick. Excellent. And there's very little inertia to not let somebody get into this type of a product and be able to get very good data very quickly. Excellent. Well, it's, it's generally, it's really interesting to see. I think it's um, more and more you can see as people become more software savvy that the requirements are to have instruments in the scientific laboratory where they, they're as user friendly as, as the iPhone or, or yeah, these it, tablets. It's, if you're in the production world, it's all about throughput. It's all about ease of use of getting the data, getting reliable data, getting quality data. And the electron optics on this are a very mature mm. product. They are very highly honed electron optics that are, are proven Joel detectors, both for imaging morphology and for imaging chemistry. And we integrate seamlessly with all of the third party companies that make the X ray spectrometers that will allow us to do this type of information where we can get chemical information, okay. chemical spatial information about the sample. Not only what does it look like, but what is it made from, where, is, where are those elements present in the sample. And again, those are for R&D applications or for field failures, contamination. Those types of applications we seamlessly integrate which sort of brings us to the next thing that's in the design, and that is the new stage and chamber that's on this microscope okay. that allows us to put multiple spectrometers on here. Right, okay. 
And what the multiple spectrometers allow us to do is one of two things. You can either get an equivalent amount of data yep. in a significantly faster time, or if you're willing to last the same amount of time, you get significantly larger and better statistical data sets. Okay. So it really is up to the user how they want to use that. But the mechanical design of the chamber is such that we can put multiple spectrometers, and people are doing experiments at lower and lower voltages at higher and higher spatial resolution where you really do need the extra spectrometers to collect the extra data to be able to even do those types of analyses. Okay, excellent. Well, it's really interesting to hear and it's, I think it's great sort of something from looking for something so conceptually different through to the software, through to the usability, the quality of the data. It's, it's great to hear more about. So It has been very well accepted by the community. The, the, the comment is that the graphical interface, the touchscreen, is not just a gimmick. It really is designed and it's, it's functionally sound and functionally usable. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Vernon, and uh, I wish You're you welcome. all the best. My pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for coming by.